Hello, I'm Laura with IndoorGardening.com and today we're going to talk about five pothos varieties everybody should have. First thing we got to talk about is that pothos are not actually pothos, they are Epipremnum aureum. It was a mistake made hundreds of years ago where they were misidentified as pothos, an endangered species, and it has now become their common name. But Epipremnum is their scientific actual name and they are a hugely invasive species located all around the world, but they started out originally in Polynesia. And they have since been cultivated and produced a whole bunch of different varieties out there. They have been planted in people's yards, they have run rampant across the world now. They are no longer in just a centralized location. They have also been mass produced through tissue culture and have now encompassed the houseplant world as well. And today we are going to be talking about five of them. The most popular variety that you'll find in almost every single person's home is a golden pothos. Epipremnum aureum, also known as the golden pothos, has green leaves with a yellow variegation in it and then if it gets enough light it can also have a white variegation in there with the yellow and with the green. It always has almost a marbling effect. Occasionally it will have little what's called sectoral variegation where it's got like just a chunk of it there and that is really cool to see as well. So it's got a variety of variegation going on in there and they actually narrowed down the variegation into the other species that we have now. And it's really amazing to watch grow. It can do a lot of different things. It is a high light plant or a low light plant. If you give it something to climb, that's when you can get those big pothos leaves um, where they'll be super huge and fenestrated. Next up, we have the Marble Queen. The Marble Queen can get very, very white with just a little bit of green speckling in there. They call it a Snow Queen, but it's the same thing as a Marble Queen, just with a lot more light for you. Marble Queen, very, very beautiful, also fun to play with. It can revert back to almost just all green for you as well if you don't give it enough light. It also is a very, very easy climber. So if you were thinking about trying something like a climbing plant, putting it on a moss pole, um, putting it on a plank, letting it climb up your wall. Any type of climbing, it is a very, very easy plant to get to climb. It wants to attach very easily. It doesn't need a lot of encouragement and it will grow very quickly and attach very quickly. This is very important not to plant it outside though because it's very invasive due to that quick growing, especially if you are in a tropical zone. But it's an absolutely stunning plant, absolutely beautiful. Definitely, if you ever get a chance to get this plant, definitely do. Next up we have Pearls and Jade Pothos. They come in a smaller leaf form than the Marble Queen and their variegation is white and green but it's more of a sectoral. So there are actually sections of the foliage that are green or are white and then they have a little tiny bit of speckling mixed in. They are related to the Marble Queen and they are a little bit more stable than the Marble Queen. They will not revert as quickly if you give them a lower light. They also grow slower, are not as quick to attach, um, and their leaves stay smaller for a lot longer. They do not upsize as quickly as any other pothos. Um, so just keep this in mind. This is a fantastic one to add to terrariums or if you want just a little planter of it and you don't want to have to worry about sizing up leaves. It is a fantastic smaller variety of pothos and well worth having in any home because it is very versatile in its own. There is one more variegated pothos I want to talk about. It is a green on green instead of a white on green variegation. It is very, very subtle, but definitely adds a unique pop of color to any area, to any plant collection. Highly recommend this plant. It's a fairly new cultivar on the market. It hasn't been around for that long. It is a beautiful plant. It's derived from a mandula pothos, and instead of having that green and white variegation that most mandula have, this one is just green on green, but it does give that very heart-shaped leaf. It is very much like a chunky little heart and it is so cute. But the leaves stay bigger for a lot longer. They can also size up rather quickly. If you want to size this plant up, it will need a higher humidity but it grows very easily just sitting in a pot. Um, the leaves do get smaller as it grows in the pot though, so just keep that in mind. You will have a bunch of little chunky hearts if you let it trail. It's very, very cool plant, definitely recommend. 
And then the PCD resistance that everybody needs to have is a neon pothos. This bright, almost yellow highlighter green pothos is absolutely beautiful. The leaves are a little bit thinner. They're more like a marble queen type of shape. Um, almost like an arrowhead more than a heart shape compared to the manjula and the global green that we were just talking about but it is so stunning so stunning you get a big basket of this and you put it in amongst the darker greens and it is going to pop like crazy and it fits in with so many different aesthetics if you have light shining through these leaves it almost looks like you have a giant golden plant hanging from your ceiling it is so beautiful so cool you can also have it just hanging out on your shelf very fast very easy grower it does not need a lot of humidity just like the other pothos they're very very easy care plants basically just water when they look sad and droopy and let them grow very awesome hopefully this gave you some ideas for some other varieties of pothos to get maybe you just picked up one variety and fell in love with it so much they are one of those plants that once you get one it's never enough you kind of need to get more just because they are so fun to watch grow and they're so easy care they also get very big very fast easy to propagate definitely a great beginner plant uh, if you're just getting into plants this is definitely one to get if you are thinking about gifting a plant to somebody and you wanted a good beginner plant Plant. this is another one don't forget to check out indoorgardening.com for more information we are always happy to help thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye